Hey everybody, it's Ralph Malachias Gaskin, author of A Warrior's Garden, uh, co-founder of Honor 22 Florence, and co-founder of Warfighter Gardens and Warfighter Gardens Fort Wayne. First of all, I want to start off the bat with just saying some very special thank yous to people who have been very instrumental in my transition from the military um, and growing with my uh, with my PTSD um, and, and increasing my PTSG. Um, been very instrumental with that transition from the military into the veteran community and as an ambassador into the civilian community. So first of all, let me thank Robbie Grayson for, in, for one, just for saying, hey, write a book. Um, cause I never probably would have done it without his input, without him actually believing that, hey, I had something vital to say. Um, Boone Cutler, dude, you have been there every step of the way and you have supported my journey every step, dude. I appreciate everything you do all the way, brother. Um, Anthony Farina for just inspiring me with all that you've been through and all that you do. Um, and just the way that you've grown and watching you grow and watching you transition, um, has actually helped me understand more of mine as well. Um, Cleo Deloner, holy crap. Warrior sister, unbelievable woman. If you don't know this lady, you need to figure her out. You need well, nobody's going to figure her out, right? No, but um, you need to you need to get to know her because she is phenomenal and she has a lot to offer to everyone. Um, just in terms of faith and dealing with trauma, um, just as an as a friend, what friends should actually be for each other. In fact, the shirt that I have, she blessed me with. So um, she's just an amazing, phenomenal person. So and, and and this is the anniversary. Like this last week was the anniversary of. Her and I hanging out at the Raise the Praise event in uh, Gallatin, Tennessee last year. So anyway, um, Mike Mike Nelson for going full bore, head on, both feet, jumping and running, and just launching Warfighter Gardens Fort Wayne and just making it happen. Dude, you have no idea how much you inspire me on a daily basis, especially with everything that you've been through with your pancreatitis and your diabetes and all the issues that you've had with the VA. Dude, you are a beast. You are a freaking unstoppable train nothing can stop you and you freaking inspire me every single day you motivate me brother strength and honor um steve gore you know dude seriously the monument everything that you're doing just the way that you're helping to blend the lines of of you know combat ptsd um first responders with ptsd violent crime ptsd and showing that we all have something to offer each other it's not just individualized and compartmentalized dude you are a phenomenal dude and i respect everything that you're doing um, Suzette, I mean, I can't thank you enough for the donation that you've made to the farm. And pretty soon here, I'm going to launch the full on photos of me with it and all that stuff like that. Um, and just thank you publicly. I mean, I, if you ever come down here, you have, you have a lifelong invitation to, to, to just chill at our farm. Seriously. Um, so, and I know I'm forgetting a crap ton of people. Jen Wooten. Oh my gosh, woman. You have been a supporter of me since we met and we've only met in person one time. I can't thank you enough for just all the love and support that your family has given to my family. Um, by the way, I love the dreads. Don't let nobody give you crap for it. Do your thing. Be you. Be real. My wife, Paige, um, she puts up with so much crap for me with my temper. With And it's not like I'm not physical. Don't get, don't get me wrong. But with my temper, because I yell really quick. I yell really easy. She gets the brunt of it a lot of times because I fight so hard to maintain a level presence in public that... By the time I get home, I'm so exhausted with putting up that front. Um, so I don't, you know, I'm trying to break that stigma of the, oh, it's a crazy vet with PTSD. Well, she gets the rest of it. So, I mean, I can't thank you enough, baby, for just all you've done, you know, with getting our credit fixed, with paying off bills, with the deployment money, with doing everything that you've done, with supporting me, with loving me, with being there in the background and just saying, go for it, do it. I love you. You know, the next month is our 14 year wedding anniversary and I can't, I can't wait to start the next 14 years. I really can't. I love you so much. Um, so, and it just, I mean, the war, the entire warfighter community, I mean, I can't, I don't have enough video space to do an entire thank you, but I just wanted to, to mention some very specific people, um, the entire Grayson family, my family, all my warfighter family, um, you know, April Dykes, um, uh, Mike Rice, you know, just everybody who's believed in me, Noah, Colonel Noah Jimenez, like, you're a freaking awesome, bro, I love you, guy, um, Brett Manning, you know, I mean, Taylor Carroll, Noah, uh, Noah Henson, Lindsey Henson, like, all, I mean, there's, there's so many people I want to say thank you to on a regular basis for just being a part of my journey, um, for inspiring parts of my journey, um, for being there in my journey when you didn't even realize you were, you know, like it's unbelievable. So 
This is the video that I promised last night, so I apologize for ranting on. Um, but this is the video I promised last night of the new duck tractor or mobile duck coop. Um, I'm going to go through it step by step. Um, I'm not going to show you the old one because it really disgusts me that I let it happen as long as it did. Um, but here we go. So, the big full-on ultimate reveal. Now, mind you, I, I still have to pick up my mess from yesterday. But here it is. The duck tractor. Okay, and we're going to walk in and do a... I'm hoping this video is going to turn out awesome. But we are going to do a full-on deal. So that's the water hanger. And underneath, it has four poultry tips with a spout on top to fill it. It's anchored here. It swivels over there. Um, those are the feeding tubes. Those are our ducks, by the way. But these are feeding tubes. They're two and a half foot tall. Um... And the caps come off and we put it in. I will be adding grass and hay in here. Um, and there's another set of feeding tubes. <laughs> um, they have a pool that gets changed out once to twice a day. They get spoiled. I mean, we're, we're babying these guys and gals. Um, they have a tarp. It's PVC, so it's light. It's chicken wire, so it's light. Um, but it is the... Um, one of the major blessings that we've been given is that... We're doing this without, we're doing all of this with my VA budget. So we're paying our rent, we're paying our mortgage, you know, our mortgage, we're paying our uh, grocery bills, our utility bills, and all that stuff. And then we're doing this on the side with the money that we have left over. Um, and we haven't sold anything yet, but there's no eggs yet. I mean, the chickens haven't been laying. I haven't processed any chickens for sale. I've only processed the one that we've eaten. Um, so it's on wheels. And that's the bucket of feed with the funnel that we use to fill. But it's on wheels, um, and it's 12, 12 foot by twelve foot, um, and it's just been amazing. Like it's I when I no, when I released on Facebook that we were buying a farm, um, everybody started tagging me. Everybody and their brother started tagging me in videos or pictures of all these really cool things, um, and I can't thank them enough because it's really what inspired all of this. And then last week, oh yeah, Mike uh, Mike Lewis. And all the members of the Farmer Veteran Coalition, like Chris Doherty, um, if I hope I pronounced that right, um, Mr. Dillon, um, Michael O'Gorman, um, just I can't remember everybody's name right now, uh, James McCormick, all you guys, you're just phenomenal. But everybody started tagging me in these like amazing photos and, you know, like chicken coop ideas and stuff like that. Um, and so we kind of followed along with that and kind of took the whole polyface farm slash, you know, sustainable farming idea. And we're doing it in a very small pattern where we're just doing one or two coops at a time, just enough birds to fill them. Um, but that's the area that we started in with the very first chicken coop a little over a month ago. Right here. And you can't even really tell that it's been there. But it takes a week to get to the end and then a week to come back. So it's, you know, it's a few weeks. But as you can now, you can start to see where the process is different. And there's no cleanup. Like we don't have to go through and remove any of the chicken feces or the poop or anything because it fertilizes the soil on its own. Um, so, but that's it. I mean, we're, we're building these coops. We're filling them with birds. Um, we're living our life. We're growing um, ourselves. I'm not going to show you my garden because it's really just disgusting with weeds. Um, I have a lot of stuff growing, but it's just, I haven't had time to weed it with school and with, you know, building the duck pens and the chicken pens and, you know, the tractors and whatnot. So... But again, I thank you everybody who's been a part of this journey, who's been a part of this ride. Um, and again, if I missed your name, I know I have. Um, you're included in this. Like, if you're seeing this video and you're on my friends list, you're part of this. You know what I mean? I just, I don't have the brain capacity right now to remember everybody's name and spout off everybody in here. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's that's what it is. It's like, it's it's our journey. It's not just mine. And we're growing as a community of friends, of warfighters, of civilians and warfighters and veterans together. Um, so just remember, no matter what, do it. Get it done. Get off the couch. Find your Eden. Okay? Find what makes you happy and do it. You know, um, whether it's gardening, whether it's music, whether it's getting involved in your church or your local community, whether whatever it is, you know, that, that just brings absolute joy and gives you the distraction, not avoidance that you're looking for, do it. Don't wait. Don't say, I'm gonna. Don't make plans. Get up right now and go do it. The whole reason that I have all of this isn't just because I've, you know, spent frugally because I'm an idiot with money 
Um, my wife has been like on me and just like stopped me from doing all kinds of stupid stuff when every time that we have a little bit of extra private cash. Um, oh, Rosie Babin. Oh my gosh. Woman, you and your organization have no idea how big you, how amazingly you have blessed us with this. And when the time comes, I want you all to come out here and just see the fruits of part of your labor. Um, this is phenomenal because this area is going to be blessing so many other people as well. Because it's not just for us. Um, it's for everybody, you know, and we're going to, we're going to, we're donating portions of what we own to give, a, to give to vets to use for free. Um, and we'll do that later on, but Rosie, I love you. You're awesome. You and your family, give Alan a high five and a hug for me. Um, I can't wait for the day that I finally get to meet him in person. Um, but again, everybody get off the couch, go find something, find a mission, find a goal, find a drive and don't plan to do it. Get up and go do it. And if it doesn't stick, if it doesn't work, if it fails completely and miserably, guess what? So what? Pick another one. Go do it. And just keep going until something actually sticks and then start adding other ones so that you have a variety, so that you have a whole group of things that you can do or try to improve your PTSD. Okay? And PTSD is post-traumatic growth. Okay? Post-traumatic stress growth. It's how you're getting better with your journey, you know, how you're finding ways to mitigate your triggers, how you're finding ways to mitigate your pain, things like that. So I thank you all for watching. I thank you all for being a part of this journey. This journey is just starting. It's just starting and it's going to get bigger and it's going to get better and it's going to get amazing. So thanks everybody. I love you all. God bless. Strength and honor.